All right, guys, I'm gonna do a little review of my truck bed detailing setup here. So my name's Steven. I do mobile detailing in Central Florida. Uh, I actually just started this gig full time about two months ago. Um, my plan with this channel is to kind of go over some product reviews, equipment reviews, a uh, day in the life of a full time mobile detailer. Um, hopefully get this channel growing pretty big. I really like interaction. I like to teach people what I know and more of all, I like to learn more things. I've only been doing this three years now. So I know I have a lot to learn from pros and other people on here. Um, so to start, why I started detailing, uh, I worked for the county actually for 10 years here in Central Florida. Um, they sent us home during COVID three years ago. Everybody remembers that madness. Um, they didn't send us with laptops or anything. So we were working from home, but didn't have much work to do. So I had a Jeep compass at the time. I loaded up a crate full of chemicals and I would pull up to people's houses and do mobile details with their water and electric supply. And I slowly realized how lucrative mobile detailing would be um, if I could expand, obviously, my range of customer bases and locations which is I think what everybody goes through when they're building one of these businesses. Um, so I transitioned from there to a trailer. I built a trailer with a 200 gallon tank, a gas pressure washer. I didn't even have an air compressor at the time. I was just doing the straight basics, started from the ground up. And then slowly from there moved to a pickup truck to pull the trailer around. When I came across a video on YouTube on Ralda's detail channel, and he was actually building a very similar setup to this in a Ram 1500 like I have with a five foot seven inch bed. And this is where I came up with this. So this setup is about seven months old. I'm gonna kind of get started on the equipment I use. So one thing you'll notice is super quiet. And then I have an ultra quiet compressor. So my goal with this was to be able to pull up to an apartment complex at six or seven o'clock in the morning and take up as little space as possible and make as little noise as possible, but be able to maintain quality and be able to do a full service detail, interior and exterior. Um, so the king of mobile detailing equipment, I'd say is the Predator 3500. I crank this thing up, it pumps air into my California Air Tools compressor. Now the reason I went with that is because I run a Vortex tool similar to the Tornador. This takes four and a half CFM, this compressor puts out 5.3 CFM, so it's plenty enough to power the Vortex tool. Um, obviously use that to blow out crevices, surface, the whole nine yards. Um, this is a Velocity Performance hose reel. So now this thing is, I think, 50 foot. Pretty sure this is 50 foot. <clears throat> My uh, extension cord is gonna be 40 foot. I went with this one, this hose reel for the pressure washer. I also have the MTM gun with the MTM tip. Uh, the do it nice, do it twice mentality kind of kicked in there after I had to replace a couple of the off-brand hoses and guns. Um, what I learned from three years of detailing, whether you have gas or electric pressure washers, is that the hose is going to wear out quick and so is the gun. So pay a little extra money to get better quality, especially if you're going to be doing this full time. Um, you really kind of learn your lesson when you're building and trying to budget, but it happens. Um, so if you're watching this before you build it, go ahead and buy better. Um, I have a Vanguard retractable extension cord. I got this at Harbor Freight, so it's not the best quality. However, it is very easy to replace. Harbor Freight's like a mile away from my house. This is about 80 bucks. I have had to replace one now. Um, the gears in it broke, so I just went and got a new one. I didn't plan to go with this, but... Once I realized how easily accessible it is, it gets the job done, three prong. Um, so that's why I went with that. Uh, I have a, well, let's talk about the exciting part first, what most people wanna see. I use an Active 2.0, the maintenance free pressure washer. This is my second unit. Uh, the first one got replaced with warranty. What I will say briefly is, <clears throat> make sure you take the time to unhook your equipment, uh, release all the pressure from the lines when you get that unit. <clears throat> That's probably 
a good practice with any equipment you have. However, I was kind of new to it. Um, I was sloppy and excited to use it. So I used to just leave this thing hooked up. Didn't worry about uh, releasing the pressure and I believe I ruined the first unit. So active, don't kill me on that, but um, that might've been my fault. So just make sure you take the time to unhook your stuff, drain everything out, make sure it's all run right. Um, so everything will last a little longer. There's no worse feeling than pulling up to a detail and a piece of equipment not working properly. You already know that you're in the whole money most likely on that job because none of this equipment is really too cheap. Um, moving forward, I have my soap foam here. I have my rinse agent foam here. As you can see, these aren't like top of the line foam cannons, but they work. I have another cannon here with Coach Kemi Green Star in it. I use for pre-soaks, nothing but the best rinse agent here, Car Candy Radiant Rinse. I'll be doing some more product reviews when I get down the line. Um, I keep some wheel brushes, uh, bug sponges out here if I need them. I know they look dirty, guys. I promise I don't cause swirls. I make sure everything's really cleaned out before a job. This hasn't been refreshed in a minute, so. Um, I keep all my caustic chemicals out here, anything that stinks, anything alkaline, wheel acids, iron removers. I don't keep that in the, in the truck itself because I actually, you'll see I have car seats in this thing. Um, when I have to, I clean the whole cab out so I can take my kids places. Um, I keep some gallons out here, any car wash shampoos. I keep my bucket with a grit guard in it. I don't do two bucket methods. Um, so that kind of eliminates space to keep a leaf blower. I keep plug in. I don't use the battery powered ones. Um, I am very forgetful. So I forget to charge batteries and the next thing you know, I don't have a blower. So I keep a plug on, on deck. Um, pump sprayer with non-acid brown wheel, wheel cleaner. I use car candy chocolate thunder in there. On this side, so you can see I have car seat base and car seat. I usually keep two big buckets of rags here, boxes, 40 inch platform step stools, some trim shines, buffers, drills, drill brushes. Some extra rags. Uh, I keep my vacuum there up front. Aqua Pro steamer, mighty heated extractor, buffing pads, rags, bonnets, all my carpet cleaning supplies. I do specialize in interior deep cleaning. Um, and then on the other side, I have my non-caustic chemicals uh acid free bug remover here interior cleaner o and r sodium hydroxide free shampoos some waxes um some brushes vacuum tips keep a prep spray in here and then in the front office it's quite dirty i need to find a mobile detailer um this is my office though. Keep some price sheets and business cards up there. And it does the trick. Um, some people would probably like more space or to not have one of their personal vehicles taken up. I got this truck as a reward to myself for my side gig, which is currently my full-time gig kind of blowing up. So I really wanted the space. I didn't know I was gonna go with this setup, but uh, after having a trailer, and working with other detailers that have enclosed trailers, I think that this is the best setup. It takes up the space of a pickup truck. Uh, I have everything I need. I, it's quiet. Uh, I can get the job done quick. Everything is right here. Most of these are retractable. Um, I got my wheel brushes. I can refill chemicals if I need to. I run 100% deionized water in my chemicals and in my wash tank. Every bit of water or diluted chemical that hits your vehicle is deionized. So when you work with this thing up here, the direct sun in central Florida, the better you do at preventing water spots from the start, the quicker you're gonna get done and the better quality job you're gonna have. Um, a lot of people only turn their tanks on for the rinse phase. Uh, when you have a customer come up, when the car is covered with foam, that is not deionized and a customer comes up and starts a conversation with you those water spots aren't going to come off even with a deionized rinse so um this setup is great if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment 
like and subscribe like i said i plan to make product reviews equipment reviews techniques uh i'll answer questions about why i started detailing as you see my channel's called the leap of faith so i did this scared with kids no benefits or anything uh i jumped into this because it's what i love to do and it is pretty lucrative in central florida we got a lot of people moving here so if you guys have any questions you're trying to start your own business feel free to comment and i will respond and hopefully some more videos to come thank you guys for watching